Good evening, California City's crackdown on illegal marijuana cultivation continued today as police raided four homes and seized more than 1,800 pot plants. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson was in Cal City today and talked to police about recent efforts that have led to the seizure of nearly four tons of marijuana. Well, California City Police were busy this morning, raiding homes like the one just behind me here for illegal marijuana grow operations. Their total for raids over the past few months now well over 40 as they continue to try to keep all of this under control. Eric Hurtado hasn't seen anything like this before. No, no, this is very unusual. He talks to us outside one of four homes busted for illegal marijuana grows on Monday morning alone. But for Cal City PD, it's just more of the same. Uh, so far, raided. 46 homes here in California City. 46 homes over about a 10 week period. That's almost half the houses available for rent in Cal City, and 45 of them had illegal grows inside. The department's crackdown began late last year when a major power outage tipped them off. They thought it very unusual that a series of transformers all uh, caught fire in California City all at once. The homes they've raided have all been tapping into power lines and stealing electricity. But when the power goes out, the odor of the plants inside gets out. And that's when residents report it and police are able to strike. In those 46 raids, over 21,000 plants have been seized. That comes out to about four tons of pot, way more than the department can handle. We've actually had to go out and get extra storage just to, to accommodate all the, the seized evidence. The plants are eventually burned to be disposed of, but it's the homeowners who are renting these places out that pay the biggest price. Hurtado says that many of the homeowners were offered advance payment by these renters. If, it's, if it's, it seems to be good to be true, it probably is. Sometimes accepting as much as 50% more than what they were asking for. And now that small amount of profit they made at the front end, they're now have to pay for it at the back end. And the grows cause significant damage to the homes. Owners often return to find their carpet and ceilings ruined and mold in the walls. So they're having to come back and spend 20, 40, 50 thousand dollars. And when you add all of these homes up, these grows have caused over a million dollars in property damage in Cal City. And the homeowners are often left with a problem that's not covered by insurance. 19 arrests have been made so far, but no word yet on whether or not they're connected. Monday's raids didn't result in any arrests, but police seized over 1,800 plants, and they also have a reason for optimism. Uh, the ones we seized, uh, we raided today, uh, the plants are dying, so they've, they've left over the last week or two. Hurtado left hoping that soon there won't be more of the same in California City. So hopefully they've got the message and are going somewhere else. Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News. And Chief Hurtado also stressed that these illegal marijuana busts have nothing to do with legal regulated grows that have recently moved to Cal City. He says the only thing they have in common is cannabis.